G'day everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures, coming to you from Bribey Island on an absolutely stunning day. So today, we've um, got the big D-Max here. Uh, for those that watch the channel, you will remember, had a look at it uh, right when it was brand new. So now it's about a year old, and we're going to have our first day on the beach in it. So look, as, with, as always, with any kind of driving on the beach, you need to be prepared, have a plan A, B, C, etc. Um, tires are deflated down to an appropriate amount. Uh, we've got recovery gear, we've got max tracks, got a shovel, and we also have some friends that are down on the beach. So we have plenty of options if anything goes wrong, but I think, uh, I think the D-Max will have no problems at all. So we're going to head on to the beach shortly. Um, we'll go along the access track and I'll, I'll record the whole way along the access track and then I'll have some footage there uh, at different parts along the beach. Right, here we go. We're dialed in with four wheel drive and we're about to hit the sand. Inside the car. So we're keeping the tracks. The first impression so far, the D-Max is loving it. It's a little bit soft. There's been uh, maybe some light dew overnight, so you can see that there's a little bit of light moisture on top. But otherwise, it is just a little bit soft. The sand. Can go pretty slow. Huh? Maybe you can go pretty slow. So up here, we've got the cameras there for your permits. So if you're coming to you do need to make sure you've got your permit sorted before you get here. You can do it in the car park. If you don't have one, they will find you with the number plate recognition camera things here. So one of the great things about Bribey is the track here. For those that haven't been on the beach before, it allows you to see or experience a little bit of sand driving before you actually get on. Uh, we have had a look at the tides, and so the tide has just gone out. Uh, we're not looking to spend all day here though, so that works fine for us. Um, always, if you're going to the beach, make sure that you check the tides, especially if you're new to beach driving. The, the big D Max's first time on the beach. Remember, your steering, especially in the softer sand, will be a little bit slower to react. And if you're going to hit the beach for the first time, make sure you again have those plan ABCs and come with a, another car and ideally someone who knows what they're doing as well. some of the videos things on social media when people get stuck quite often it's due to people not lowering their tire pressures so make sure you lower your tire pressures and also think about how you will put them back up uh, for Bribey there are a few petrol stations on the way out that do have pumps obviously they'd prefer you buy something if you're going to use their pumps but so it's pretty soft here, but again, the, the D-Max is having no issues at all. It's got a fair bit of grunt.
the road here. There's a few more bends and then it opens up to the beach. So again, there is a reasonable amount of sand driving you've got to do before you actually make it to the beach. Uh, so again, it gives you that opportunity to, to make sure you are comfortable with the whole sand driving experience. there as well is to, to not be jumping an accelerator too hard you don't need to especially if your tires are down and you've got a car that is pretty capable like the DMX is here to the beach it's going to be a pretty amazing view given the absolutely stunning day that it is so you always need to be careful there with people coming back off the beach especially if it's a bit chopped up they might have a little bit of a run up to to get through some chopped up space. But look at that, a pretty picture perfect, beautiful one day, but the next Queensland day. It's 200 coming off the beach. And here we go. So, we'll follow the tracks here, and we'll probably go midway, just a little bit firmer. The tide here should be going just finished going out so here it's pretty firm we'll uh, drive along for a bit and we'll come back a little bit further down the track feels a little bit almost like we do. Remember when you're on the beach there, there are speed limits. It's passing one of the speed signs now at 50, which is plenty fast enough when driving on the beach. Stunning Queensland morning. Not a cloud in the sky. Where else would you be? So we've only seen a few cars so far, so it's it's pretty amazing. It's a 9 a.m. on a Saturday, middle of winter though, so uh, there's a lot of people that don't know what they're missing out on. But we're just after the low tide, so it's nice and firm here. Again, when you come on the beach, always make sure you've checked what the tides are doing uh, to avoid any unwanted surprises. Beautiful day, water looks amazing, nice conditions for driving. Uh, we're just heading up towards where the camp spaces are. Might do a little lap through some of the facilities there. Uh, and then we'll head up to the forts.
that there's no entry beyond here anymore so we will turn around and, and head back the other way but I might just pull up here for a moment and I'll get out and we can have a little look okay so here we are again absolutely stunning beach you can hear the waves there and so there's a little sign here around the axis so in past times you could drive a bit further past here but I think with some of the, the poor weather in recent months um, you can't so got the forts here which are pretty cool to see uh, you can't go and go in running it's not safe to do so but um, it's definitely pretty cool to have a look at and when it's such an amazing day where else would you be it's uh it's pretty amazing so it's a bit of history with these forts uh, you can see this one here is set a little bit further back and for their age given they're on the beach they're holding up pretty well but if you have a look down here there's one that's been somewhat falling into well, not quite the ocean but falling away and then you used to be able to drive ooh, probably about another k or two uh, and there was a few other ruins or relics up the road but um but again obviously it's not safe to do so anymore so from here we head back to the car and we'll uh enjoy the space here for a little bit but then we'll drive back and again we'll try to find the facilities there for some of the campsites so campsites don't have facilities at all of them but there is a, a central uh, space there that has toilets and showers so we'll see if we can find that for you i'm gonna have a quick look okay good everyone so we're up in camp section p where you have some facilities so got your toilets over here got some showers down the back there a quick little look here for the signage here get some information a little bit of history some key points for sand driving some extra permit things to fill out so there's a range of campsites here so it's section p uh, it's the only section that does have facilities but if you're someone who very much wants to to camp and have toilets etc section p is for you or it's only a, a short little drive depending on where you are so when you're looking to book a campsite definitely take note of where p is if you want to be able to come and use some facilities we've got some outdoor little showers here as well Basic shower facilities. Again, it's section P. I believe I'm just trying to think of something along the lines of I think site 37 and 54 are in section P. So there's a fair few sites in here. So if you've got a group, potentially some, some kids and things that you want to be close to the toilets, it's a plane flying over the head there. beach there's a, a way in and a way out so the southern side of section P is where you come in and then you head out in the northern section so the DMAX is doing really well um, really impressed with how it's performed I've spent most of the time in the passenger seat but I had a little drive just before and with the grunt the tires down it has made absolutely short work of Bribe Island so we're going to enjoy the island a little bit more, enjoy the beach, and then uh, we will head back off the beach. There we are, so getting back towards the entry. Uh, the tide is slowly coming in. So 
just passing, or it's coming up to one of the lagoons shortly. Uh, so from here, we'll record the, the coming off the beach here, just so you can see the, the process coming off. But again, so far the, the GMX has done really, really well. Um, and my friend driving, first time on the beach, no issues at all. So all good things must come to an end, and we're about to come off the beach here in Bribey. Uh, the tide is definitely starting to come in, um, and we've had a lot more traffic come the other way. So I'm having the, the beach almost to ourselves. There's now, it's been such an amazing day. A lot of people have the same idea. Uh, again, conditions change all the time, so what you're watching today is not necessarily what it's going to be even later today let alone tomorrow or next week next year so generally speaking when you're coming off the beach um, often the people coming on the beach will give you the right away uh, if the tide is coming in try not to force the other person down into the water uh, so it's a little bit churned up Churned up here, but we're all good. Okay, and so from here it's just a short drive along back to the, the car park there where you've got a compressor or whatever you might have you can air up uh, otherwise look to head to a petrol station as it might be that's been our first go on the beach in the D-Max and my friend there his first time driving D-Max has held up really well again we lowered the tyre pressures we had a bit of a plan A, B and C if things went wrong um, so always be prepared we knew what the tides were doing um, yeah, most importantly we had a great time thanks for watching if you've got any questions or comments pop them down below if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe talk to you later thanks